Hi, I'm Steve Clifford. I'm the training manager at Sheehy Toyota of Fredericksburg and Stafford. And I did a video yesterday about how to fix some of the problems when setting up the audio multimedia system. My capable assistant, Melissa, hi. Helped me out yesterday and I failed to introduce her. Sorry about that. And so today we're gonna go over some more stuff. We're gonna get into more details about this and try and show how to prevent some of these issues and explain why some of the issues happen in the first place. So with that, let's go ahead and start this Toyota Highlander. And as we start this, Melissa has the app on her phone, but it is not signed in. And without a signed in app, what we're going to find is that the car right now is looking to see if there's a profile. It didn't see a profile, so it takes us to the sign in page. And this is the page that we need. This is where we would get to the QR code. But let's just say, go ahead and sign in on your app here. What happens if you get in a car and your customer already has an account and they're signed into it. That actually changes some things. Now, I would like to point out, we have not paired her phone to this vehicle. There's no Bluetooth connection between these vehicles right now. But I'm gonna show you, even without a Bluetooth connection, it makes a difference. Go ahead and re turn off the car and then restart it. All right, go ahead. Now, even though we don't have a Bluetooth connection, the car is going to use its Bluetooth to say, are there any other Bluetooth devices in the vehicle? It's gonna find a Bluetooth device and it says, oh, look, and there's a Toyota account. So it skipped our startup screen, which is really weird because you'll notice her name is right up here. How did it get her name? We didn't give it permission for that but somehow or another, it got it. And that's where we run into some problems. Now, there is a way, if you touch this, eventually, send link. Now, do you know what your, uh, oh yeah, what is your, well, we're gonna need to put in your actual phone number. I won't film you putting in your actual phone number. People don't need to know that. And then that allows you to set, create an account pin. So if you did all of that, then eventually you would get to the point where you would have the, uh, the QR code show up on the screen. So that is another way to do this, is to set up that account pin. But frankly, that's, uh, that's a long way around. And a lot of customers get frustrated with this process. So that's why the easier way is to do what we did yesterday. We go to personal information, reset, reset, and then we're gonna turn off your Bluetooth for a moment. And now we're gonna restart the vehicle again. Okay, go ahead. So now there is no the car is going to look for a Bluetooth connection. It isn't going to see one, and it's going to send us back to our blue startup screen, which is what we're going to use. Okay, so English. Now, I had some other questions about this whole phone number thing. The phone number that you put in here doesn't matter. Uh, this is just for Toyota to send a link. This does not start the linking process. This just sends a, a text message. So I'm gonna put in 540-8675309. And we'll let Jenny post her number on the wall. All right, now go ahead and turn your Bluetooth back on. So her Bluetooth is on. Now she's gonna add vehicle. Scan QR code. wait while we link your vehicle all right go ahead and hit save changes we're going 
going to fully link you up this time. Now you can create an account pin. Go ahead and, and select a six digit pin number. And it'll ask you to confirm that. So when she puts in her pin number twice, now she has an active account. Now go ahead and hit continue. We're going to complete this process today, so but we're going to wait on that. So go ahead and accept the data. We're gonna, we'll go ahead and accept them all because we're going to remove this from your account when we're done anyway. We'll even, well, we'll do the, maybe later on the Wi-Fi. Okay. Now she has an active account linked to this vehicle. And we're going to go ahead and finish the Bluetooth setup. Now go to your settings in your uh, on your phone, and hit Bluetooth. All right, it'll find you in just a moment. Oh wait, search for devices. Here we go. All right, yep. Go ahead and hit pair on your phone. Confirm up here. Set as your primary device. Yes, we do want to do that. Enable Apple CarPlay, of course. All right. And that is going to finish up our registration process. This really is quick and easy, uh, but you've got to be aware of a few things. The car is going to look for a Bluetooth device that has an active account, and that can create some glitches. Uh, if a customer hasn't set up their PIN, sometimes that can be a little bit of an issue. Yeah, go ahead and, yeah, there we go. We don't need to see your text messages. Oh, uh, no <laughs> anyway, so thank you very much, Melissa, for your help Absolutely. on this. And again, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, we are going to have more instructional videos. Post any questions that you have. I will be happy to answer them for you. And again, thank you for watching.